When you think Minnesota sports, you think Mark Rosen. He's been covering our teams for nearly five decades at WCCO. And tonight we are sad to say that Mark has decided to retire. Don't worry though, he'll be here through Final Four in April. And that gives us time to celebrate a legendary career. What a run he's had. And he figures by the time he gets to Montreal, he'll have raced at 10,000 meters over a thousand times in his mind, dreaming of crossing the finish line first. Well, we got Kirby Puckett here. Mark Rosen has a career for the ages. <laughs> what are you smiling about? I know you're tired of talking to the media by now, aren't you? Oh, I'm sorry to come down here. I'll talk to you any day. You're all right. And welcome to Wembley Stadium for the first National Football League game ever played on British soil. Indeed, uh, this is one Bud Grant report we did not expect to have. We're here tonight because Bud called it quits after 27 years as head coach of the Winnipeg Bombers and the Minnesota Vikings. The guy with the best seat in the house has been in your house for nearly 50 years. And now, live from the Channel 4 studios, WCCO Television Sports presents Rosen Sports Sunday. It's time to play ball. Play ball under a new manager, Ron Gardenhire, who's here tonight. Named manager, in fact, let's see here, January 4th, the same day that Denny Green was fired. Can I hit you with a folding chair tonight? <laughs> no, you cannot. But I know how to reverse that real quick. No, I don't think I'm going to try. I've always <laughs> thought about that anyway. What are you going to do when you grow up, by the way? I don't know. I Hopefully, Mark, I never will. <laughs> Lindsay, let's start with you. How does the UNLV sound to you next week in Chapel Hill, North Carolina? Well, you know, we're just excited uh, um, to be going. And now, what are your thoughts about what happened out there today? No comment. <laughs> we have a half hour to fill. When we come back, just like the oh, no. score, big oh, like no. 50 off. years Long bringing days. us the most compelling Better sports stories of our time. Days. From the 1980 Miracle on Ice in Lake Placid. You believe in miracles? Yes! Look at these people here. We're at, you know, everybody was for USA and we finally did it. To high school hockey players dreaming of making it to that world stage. Isn't it great to be young, talented, sitting on top of the world, waiting for the state high school championship? He's been there for Minnesota's ups and our downs. Colfax reaches back for one final burst of energy. Rosen's love of sports started young. A camera caught him watching Sandy Koufax pitch in the 1965 World Series. He'd later interview Koufax, one dream come true in a career full of them. Rosie's kindness and fairness have earned him the respect of the athletes he covers and the viewers at home. He's worked with broadcast legends like Dave Moore, Don Shelby, and R.J. Fritz, and along the way earned his place on the Mount Rushmore of WCCO. So grab your phone and share your well wishes. Use the hashtag Rosen on Twitter, and we will share some of them later on in the show. And Rosie, well, first of all, congratulations, because it's quite an accomplishment. 50 years in any Not business. Not quite. Um, but you well, know I do anything else? to get out of going to the State Fair. I I'm <laughs> telling you, that is what we said. State <laughs> Fair, um, you name it. Look, it, it all seems so surreal as I sit here with you, because I'm, I'm not going anywhere mm -hmm. for a while. But um, it, it is, it's numbing to think about. In my entire adult life, I've spent here at night, and with uh, the greatest relationships that anyone could ask for again it's not over but no it's um, not we still have been, six more months well i hope i hope <laughs> uh, god willing it'll be that long but uh, uh yeah it's it's been such a spe spectacular run and uh, it's all about the relationships uh, with people i obviously work with but more importantly everyone out there it's, it's been spectacular um still gonna be on the radio enjoy that and but more importantly just be in this community which has been my home yes. since i was born so at uh, one station on this business, 50 years. Well, at one station I mean, it's just—it's really so weird to see your whole life on tape. It's just such a and your different you know, hairstyles. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, over the years. Does it uh, seem surreal though? It yeah, it does. When we look at all those old clips, yeah, I mean, it seems like it was just yesterday when you're doing all that. I mean, and, and I think about uh, the people I've had a chance to, to run across and, and interview and be a part of, and the community service stuff you get involved with. You know what it's. We all do know what it's like. It's very, very special. And uh, again, it's numbing sitting here tonight. Mm -hmm. um, Thinking a lot about my wife tonight, Denise, you sure. know, and that's uh, that's the, the driving force behind my life, and uh, that's what matters Absolutely. to me at this moment. Yeah. yeah. Well, we love you, and we're glad Thank that you. we have uh, some more months left with you, yes. you know, to hang out and, and bother you. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>